This question requires Kepler's second law, which isn't always an especially straightforward bit of physics. Uh, but just to quickly simplify this a little bit, here we have a sun around which a planet is orbiting. As the planet orbits, its speed changes. So when it is over here, it is travelling at its fastest, because it's, it's now the closest to the sun, as it moves around its orbit. It gets slower and slower and slower until here where it's at its slowest and then it begins to fall back towards the sun again and gets faster and faster and faster back to its maximum here. Now Kepler's second law says that if you drew a line from the sun to the planet it would sweep out the same arc around the sun in the same length of time no matter where in the orbit it is. Now the the equations concerning this are relatively complicated, but it is simpler when you're at the closest bit of the orbit and the furthest bit of the orbit. And at that point, we can say that the speed, v, is inversely proportional to the distance. So in that case, v times d equals a constant so v1 d1 it must be equal to v2 d2 and we're trying to find v2 here so let's rearrange this v2 equals v1 d1 divided by d2 where v1 is 50 kilometers per second. We don't need to worry about converting units here because we're working with ratios, all the units will, will cancel out. Times 4 times 10 to the power of 10 kilometers divided by 10 times 10 to the power of 10. Now straight away we can cancel our 10 to the power of 10s and we can cancel these zeros so we become left with v2 equals 5 times 4 divided by 1, so that's 20 kilometres per second. Answer C.